for me, poetry is, is a, a, way of, a way of living in the world. Meet Lucille Clifton. That, uh, she was Marilyn's poet laureate. Sydney Clifton is her daughter. She, yes, she was a poet, but she was also the poet laureate of Marilyn for multiple years. She was a National Book Award winner. She won the Ruth Lilly Prize for Poetry for a Lifetime Achievement in Poetry. She won the Robert Frost Medal after she passed away. This is a photograph that was taken in 1971 on the steps of this house. Um, 1971, it was the two years after my mother's first book was published, Good Times, and a photographer, Raleigh McKenna, came and did a photo shoot with Mom and the family. So there's Mom, my sister Frederica, who is passed away, my sister Gillian, my sister Alexia, me, <laughs> my brother Channing, who has passed away also, and my brother Graham. Cut to last year, last October, I was visiting my family and um, at the time, obviously my mom and my dad and my, t my two siblings have passed away, but my remaining siblings and I, I contacted the owner of the house at the time to ask if we could retake a photo on the steps because my mother's uh, uh, an e-book of one of her books was coming out and we wanted to include this with the offering. Sometimes a home is more than a home, especially when you live with an artist. Reached out to the owner of the house on the anniversary of my mother's passing this year. She told me the house was on the market. I said, I want to be considered a buyer, and I had no reason to believe I could do that, but I did it because it was meant to be. In its heyday, the house was filled with a who's who of artists and writers. The daughter wants to return the home to a similar space to encourage young artists and writers. The renovation is known as the Clifton House Project. Looking at Lucille Clifton's work now, I'm always learning more about how to be myself. You know, Lucille Clifton talks about in her poetry how she had no models <laughs> and she still pursued what she wanted in her life. Thunder and lightning and our world is another place. No day will ever be the same. A number of grants have been pledged to refurbish the home and prepare it for its second life. What I want to give to the world is, my mother had a quote in one of her poems, um, we cannot create what we cannot imagine. And this needs to be a place where emerging and established artists understand that you can create something beautiful if you can see it around you. The project is expected to be completed in 2021. In Baltimore, I'm Charles Robinson for Your Money and Business.